what's going on so today we are going to be reviewing the air jordan 5 burgundy maroon whatever you want to call them 2023 retro now let's get right into it now for those of you who do not know which i'm sure you do these came out originally in 2006 so eventually jordan brand was like you know what let's retro these let's bring these back the box is different this is not what the og box look like and there's definitely some differences between this pair and the 06 pair i do not have the 06 pair but i already do know the differences i've seen from other uh sneaker heads or whatever um the main one being that this maroon hue or burgundy hue is a bit more dull than the 06 pair the 06 pair is definitely a bit more bright but in like a good way and also the 06 pair was more of a clear sole like instead of the icy blue it was clear i mean i, I don't mind the icy blue because it makes the aging process a little bit slower so i'm okay with that also you can see that jordan brand created the tongue more similar to how a lot of these new releases have been so that's a plus to me the tongue um on the newer releases looks a little bit better you can see the Jumpman logo um all that good stuff now for me the fact that jordan brand wanted 225 because i got these on sale for 180 i'm sure a lot of people probably started copping after that but to be honest 180 is still too much to me um because these kind of have really shitty quality this little new buck is pretty bad compared to what dropped in 06 the color is also i believe a bit lighter or darker than the 06 pair and you can see some glue stains which is normal but like bro i'm paying 225 what are you talking about glue stains you know um so look all around the shoe you can see that it's just got you know some glue stains and it's just like little things like that like look at this fucking shit right here it's all out of the lines and you wanted us to pay 225 and i also feel like there's a slight yellow hue this shoe's all right but the other sneaker i feel i had more issues with and i'll show y'all why um like look at that it just looks pretty sloppy here's the other one and this was my main issue i know it's not a big deal but it, like i said it's principal at this point bro what the fuck is that what is that this little red stain over here how did that and it's not like i could just wipe it off i have to like probably get a little bit of acetone to get that off but i'm not gonna do that for a sneaker i feel is too expensive for the quality to constantly go down like look at this shit they wanted 225 before taxes that means with taxes depending on where you live you be paying like 250 260 for shit like this is kind of shit you know like i've seen some reps that actually care a lot more for what they're dropping you know and i feel like if it's on if it's not on this one i think it's on this one like you can see the translucent start to peak on this side you know, and it's just not what's up. You can see that it's already like a little yellow, which is weird because Nike used to have the best clear soles in the game that, you know, would take a decent amount of time to yellow. These are already kind of yellow in a little bit. And that comes with cheaper quality. I've seen that from Sia Collective. They have really cheap quality in terms of their clear soles. They fucking age like fucking milk. So, you know overall beautiful colorway you know no doubt about that but just kind of kind of they kind of missed with this one unfortunately you know personally i wouldn't pick these up unless you're paying like a 100 bucks bro that's just my personal opinion maybe 120 but you know you could just see like stitching flaws and i used to give nike the pass like oh you know their brand you know it happens nah man fuck y'all like real shit is getting worse and worse every year and if you're gonna keep upcharging and make your quality shit 
like i'm not gonna keep falling for it you know so these are cool um you know i don't know how i feel about paying 180 for them so i'll see what i can do because they're probably gonna sit for a while but i was excited for this but they did kind of disappoint but with that being said man let me know what y'all think let me know if it was disappointing release to y'all let me know if y'all got the 06 pair and what y'all think about that but i'll catch y'all in the next one and i'm out peace